Hello, my fellow humans. So I have a uh, I have an interesting little video for you. Uh, it's it's not like a new topic or anything. Not anything that I've created, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you um, what I'm doing today. Is I'm actually testing and uh, possibly cleaning these injectors. Um, not you know I'm just seeing what they do. So this is my little setup here. I uh, got me some B12, you know, Berryman's. I have the injector. This is a get you a good look at that. So this is a valve stem. Basically, just uh, I have one set over here somewhere. So this is basically what I have right here. And all I did was let me set you up so you can see what I did. So I had these two right here. I took the o-ring off so that I could get this on here better and then it basically just you know, just kind of goes on there like that which gives me the ability to stick this on there and stick this in there so now I have two of them ready to be done um, but yeah this right here uh, this is a battery out of a Toyota Prius let's see and yeah and then I have this right here just to kind of capture everything so it's not going and spraying everywhere it all just kind of sprays up into this bottle but I'm gonna show you this one this one I've already done let's see if I can get you a, a view of that all right so basically I'll, I'm gonna spray down on it and show you what I'm doing first two so this lead right here this one's not connected so what I do is whenever I, I press down and I spray it I hit the uh, negative as I'm doing it and uh, you can hear but uh, no you can't actually so right here This one's actually stuck open. It is not. Let's see. Let's test another one. Alright, so. So I'm just gonna take this here lead and just kind of shove it up on there. There we go. And that is not where I need it. Uh, once again, I have just messed it up. There we go. And take this one. And some wire that isn't solid So you should be able to hear this one. This one actually does work. See? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna lower you down. And so as I spray this, put my sunglasses back on. And I spray it too much. And yeah, 
So, hold on, let's show you what it actually looks like when it's not in this bottle. So you can actually see what's going on. Oh. Alright, so I should be able to Okay. You see that? So this one we know is good, but we also know that we need to retest that other one, to make sure, and see how it's doing. And uh, yeah, this isn't the best way of testing it. They have people that actually do this for a living. You can just uh, send your injectors into them. And they'll flow test them and everything like that. But if you can't afford that, then obviously this would be the the alternative for you. Um, but we know that this one. Let me get out of here. We know this one is good. Well, we say that, but yeah, we say this one's good. Heavy quotations. So we'll set that one aside. And let's see, let's see how this one, you know what, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna adjust something real quick. So, yeah, this is the, this is not, this is another one. So, uh, I ended up adjusting my connections here. So this is, I don't have any alligator clips. So what I do is I just wrap them around something uh, small, give me a little hole, and then I can just kinda boop, stick it right on there. Great connection. So, I can sit there and it does work. That's that's so it does I've seen the four the four holes, so that is that, this is another good one here. So we'll pull this all this stuff off here. Is this the best method? Probably not, but we're getting there we know that we have two but this is that okay so this is that one that wasn't working that i believe was possibly clogged so we're going to try it one more time that i've fixed the the uh the connections on this thing so let's see if this is going to help it out any there we go oh that one just was like i'm, I'm not hanging out here anymore there we go. All right. I'm not gonna put the bottle cap on. I don't need all that. So, now you get this held right. All right, there, oh. Dang it. might say all right here we go let's see what we got yes yeah, that one's just stuck open that's a problem that is so that means that uh yeah I mean that one's gonna have to be replaced for sure so we set this one off to the side and see what else we got going. But uh, I'm not gonna put you through me going through all of them. So uh, I'll just give you the uh, I'll give you the update at the end of it. But you kind of get the idea of what I have going here. Um, yeah, where you can actually send 12 volts to the to them, and at least you can determine whether or not they're good or bad, or whether or not they're op you know stuck open or closed. Um, which is a very useful tip to have or tool to have to be able to see whether or not they're open and closed and you can also tell if they're clogged because if they're coming out kind of weak even with you know like whereas the other ones you're using the same pressure and it's still coming out you know with a good jet then you can also determine if they're clogged or like I just determined I have one that is stuck open which would be a, would be a bad thing so uh, yeah 
I'm going to go ahead and double check all of these. Um, I may end up buying some new injectors. I don't know yet. We're going to see how that goes. Um, you know, it's all about a budget. So, uh, yeah, I'll come back to you and let you know how many I have that are, are good and how many are bad. Okay, guys. So, after the test, I conclude that I have six that work. And I have one here that stuck open and one here that will not open. So, uh, there's two here. Uh... It leads me to believe that I'm probably going to go ahead and just replace them all uh, because I want them all to be the same. Uh, I want them all to be flowing the same and you know matched and everything like that. So I'm probably going to go ahead and spend the money and get some some better injectors. Just go ahead and upgrade them so that I go ahead and have some better injectors for future growth as well. But uh, yeah, yeah. So far, let me get that thumbnail. Yep. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. So, but hey guys, uh, that's going to be it. Sorry for the short video, but really it's not much to testing and making sure your injectors are good to go. So, uh, I mean, if you don't have the money to send them off to the various locations that do it, um, then you want to probably look into this method. Really all you need is a battery, uh, some carb cleaner with the straw. Make sure you get the straw. I use Teflon tape, you could use electrical tape, doesn't really matter. Um, and then yeah, your injectors, you gotta get them off. Mine were already off, so I didn't have to go through all that, but uh, you may have to you know, spend a little bit of time getting that off. But yeah, I also wanna show you this. I also went ahead and, cause I, yeah, I don't care, it's, it's simple stuff. I went ahead and uh, cleaned up, or not cleaned up, I installed the bell housing and the oil pan on here. Uh, the filter I put in also, so that's ready to go back in uh, I have the I have the transmission mount I may have to alter that right there but uh look at that it's really calm. hello goodbye so yeah so I may have to modify that because I have a single bolt and that has a two bolt um so and i might take back this one i have and and see if they had the two bolt you know come come tomorrow um because that's when i plan on trying to do this because uh, i don't want that i don't want to have to like weaken any of this because i'm gonna have to drill out right here and it's already you know not that that wide right there so if i put a hole there it just makes it even more weak so i'm probably going to take it back and just go ahead and get the one that i'm supposed to have but yeah i'll probably do that tomorrow i'm not in any rush to get it done um but yeah that's really gonna be it guys so hey if you haven't already go ahead like subscribe and uh yeah i'll be coming back at you with some more stuff later